Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi scholars, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Number Talks. Today I'm featuring my friend Trisha. Trisha has blank candies to give out for Halloween. If she gives every trick-or-treater blank candies, how many trick-or-treaters can she serve? Hmm. Remember, we can plug in these numbers down here, or you can come up with your own. Just a note, some of them have an R after them, and that indicates a remainder. So I'm going to use the first number pair here. Trisha has eight candies to give out for Halloween. If she gives every trick-or-treater two candies, how many trick-or-treaters can she serve? How would you figure that one out? She has eight candies and she's giving each two. Let's try something different. Okay, Trisha has eight candies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She can only give out two candies per person. How can we do that? So we can say there's this one and this one goes to one person. This one and this one goes to one person. This one and this one goes to one person. And the last two go to another person. So how many people do we have here? Can you count with me? One, two, three, four. So the answer is four. She can give out two candies to four people. Go to the end of the video now to see the entire problem and use your own numbers or the numbers at the bottom. And remember, R indicates a remainder. So that's if there's only if there's some that's left over, let's say there's three left over, can you give that number of candies, let's say it's four candies, and you only have three left over, can you give four candies to a last person? No. So you're just going to have three to eat yourself. And remember to like, subscribe, and share. 